This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Whenever we talk about temperature and humidity monitoring, the very first sensor that pops up in everyone's mind is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. Despite of the fact that it's extremely slow and it has a low temperature and humidity detection range, it's still one of the most commonly used sensors throughout the world. The main reason behind its popularity is that because everyone, including me, is only using the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor for testing IoT platforms, displays, and HMI screens, etc. Why only DHT11 sensor? We can also try other sensors in the same series like for example DHT21 and DHT22 which can also be used for measuring the temperature and humidity. DHT11, DHT21 and DHT22 all these three sensors have got different specs and features while their use is exactly the same. So in today's episode you will learn how to make a simple temperature and humidity monitoring system using DHT21 or AM2301 sensor, Arduino Nano, SSD1306 or LED display module and a 5 volt buzzer. Since this is a getting started tutorial, I will try my level best to explain its technical specs, features, its interfacing with Arduino and programming. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor is also known as AM2301. DHT21 is a digital temperature and humidity sensor module made using a capacitive humidity sensor, a high precision temperature sensor and an 8-bit microcontroller. This module provides extremely accurate outputs as it is digitally calibrated using the coefficients stored in microcontroller. It is able to measure temperature between minus 40 and 80 degrees Celsius with plus minus 1 degree of error margin. Likewise, it is also able to measure humidity between 0% to 100% RH with plus minus 5% RH of error margin. DHT21 has a built-in pull-up resistor while in the DHT11 and DHT22 we have to externally connect pull-up resistors. DHT21 is quite larger than the DHT11 and it's also slightly expensive than the DHT11 sensor. The slightly higher price is not the downside as you are paying for the better specs. DHT21 outshines the DHT11 in every aspect from temperature range, temperature accuracy, humidity range and humidity accuracy. For the side-by-side -side comparison of the DHT21 with DHT11 and DHT22, read my article. I will provide a link in the description. DHT21 accepts a wide range of input voltages from 3.3 volt to 5.2 volts. Due to such a wide range of input voltages, it can be used with 3.3 volt and 5 volt compatible controller boards like ESP32, ESP8266 Arduino boards, Raspberry Pi, STM32 and so on. The red wire is the VCC and it should be connected with 3.3 volt or 5 volts. The yellow wire is the output wire which is the data wire. It outputs a digital signal via single bus. The black wire is the ground wire. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you 
the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. The VCC and ground wires of the DHT21 or AM2301 temperature and humidity sensor are connected with the 5 volt and ground while the data wire is connected with the Arduino pin D2. The red wire of the buzzer is connected with the 5 volt. The ground wire of the 5 volt buzzer is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base of the transistor is connected with the Arduino D4 pin through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The SSD1306 or LED display module SDA and SCL or SCK pins are connected with the A4 and A5 pins while the VDD or VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. On the left side is the 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 linear voltage regulator. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. As usual before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is the same exact program that I wrote for the DHT11 sensor. The only change which I made is I replaced the DHT11 with DHT21. So any program which is written for the DHT11 will also work with DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor. Inside the loop function we simply read the humidity and temperature and then display these values on the OLED display module. Besides this I have also added an if condition which checks if the temperature has increased above the predefined value. If the temperature has increased then the buzzer will turn on else the buzzer will remain off. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the DHT21 or AM2301 temperature and humidity sensor in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.